My name is Claudette Benzile, and I'm a third-year art student majoring in political science and economics, and I'm also a Greville Smith scholar. Mark Fabian, postdoctoral fellow at the Goodman Cancer Center, working on microRNAs at the molecular level. I am AJ Nam. I'm a third-year law student, and I'm interested in the rights and welfare of Philippine migrant workers. Claudette took uh, my introductory class in international political economy in her first year, and uh, she did very well in that class. Claudette won the Greville Smith Award, which is one of our most prestigious awards for undergraduates. It's worth $10,000 a year, uh, it's renewable, and it's for students who exhibit both leadership and academic uh, achievement, and Claudette's done both those things. The scholarship means a great deal to me, and in a number of different ways. Financially, it's meant that I haven't had to take on a part-time job, and it's alleviated a great deal of stress to do with facing a mountain of debt come graduation. The scholarship has also given me the time to get involved in student politics. As Vice President Academic of the Arts Undergraduate Society, I'm able to apply what I'm learning in the classroom into real life. And it's this whole package experience that I really find enjoyable. Well, the scholarships are very important for our undergraduates in particular. Uh, what sets McGill apart is not the buildings, it's not the equipment we have, it's really the people. And we need those uh, scholarships and awards to both attract the best students in Canada and the world, and then to keep them here. After completing my doctoral studies at York University in Toronto, I decided to come to McGill to pursue a, a postdoctoral work with Dr. Nachum Sonnenberg at the Cancer Centre. And we're trying to better understand how microRNAs function in our cells in order to develop new types of treatments and potentially diagnose cancers earlier on. Moving into the brand new Goodman Cancer Centre at McGill uh, has given us a, a larger space to work in with a lot of new hardware and machinery to make our research move along at a faster pace. Uh, the facility has been filled with an array of different types of researchers and the open space environment means that we can collaborate with these researchers in a much more friendly environment. This building would not have been possible without private donations. What they allow us to do is to build the building, uh, buy new equipment, equip the new laboratories with the latest advances in technology for cancer research. Our scientists that works here for many years and are internationally renowned are sought by many different laboratories around the world. And the fact that we're improving the facility, bringing new equipment, making this place much competitive and much more attractive, uh, ensure that uh, they remain in Quebec, they remain at McGill University, and this is a great benefit for McGill, Quebec, and Canada. This is a photo of me and my mom. Her name is Frances, she's from the Philippines. She came to Canada as a live-in domestic worker. And while she was here, she had a lot of difficult experiences and struggled a lot. And it's because of her that I was really inspired to go into law and to advocate for domestic workers. A lot of these women uh, experience a lot of exploitation. And so what I'm doing is looking at some legal tools we can use to better protect these women's rights. This past summer, I went to the Philippines for the first time, and it was only through a very generous grant from the McGill Center for Human Rights and Legal Pluralism. It was a really great experience. I did excellent work with migrant workers' rights and also with uh, women's rights in the Philippines. I came to know me at uh, a workshop uh, organized by Filipino women students at McGill. May did a very good and, and very valuable work for us, connecting the community to McGill University. It's been through May that we're able to also get other Lu students, her classmates, to come to the center and do some pro bono legal clinic at our center. My trip to the Philippines really reinforced my commitment to my community here in Canada. 
When I finish law school, I would like to be an advocate, a lawyer for disadvantaged people and especially with migrant workers. Um, part of where I'm going really has to do with where I've come from. The time I need to focus on my studies and get involved in campus life. The infrastructure and equipment we need to find a cure for cancer. The support I need to advocate for the disenfranchised. Financial support to attend a world-class university. La raison de choisir l'Université McGill afin de poursuivre mes études en ingénierie. The chance to travel to the Middle East to study how people are coping with water scarcity. L'opportunité de combiner mes études avec ma passion pour le hockey. The resources I need to continue searching for a medical breakthrough. L'occasion de faire briller la réputation de l'Université McGill à l'international. The means to combat disease in developing countries for better global health. 